According to the National Science Foundation, 900 billion gallons of water are produced each year in the U.S. alone as a byproduct to oil and gas extraction. Now this water can be used for many important things, but first we have to clean it somehow. Now as a mechanical engineering student at Texas A&M, I've taken many classes and plan to take many more classes that involve principles used in a technology I wish to speak to you about today called acoustic wave separation. And I'm truly excited to tell you about all the possible benefits and effects that this technology and the research done with it can have on your daily life. Now, acoustic wave separation is truly a remarkable innovation in the field of engineering as well as other fields. By using just sound waves, it is able to more efficiently, precisely, and effectively filter out particles that aren't wanted and it is this ability that it has that has allowed it to be used in many, many fields of research as well as engineering and biology. Now, before we talk about acoustic wave separation and its benefits, we need to answer what it is because it sounds pretty complicated to be honest with you. Um, so when we're thinking about what it is, we need to look at basically the descriptions by the researchers who came up with it. Um, according to Wang, Aziz and Gonzalez, basically a, a fancy speaker basically sends sound waves across a chamber and reflects them back. Now, as the fluid froze, flows through the chamber, this causes areas to become pressurized and some to not be. And while all of the other particles are left unaffected, the particles you wish to filter are pushed by these different regions of pressure and non-pressure created by the interference between these waves. These different areas of pressure and non-pressure cause them to gather at what are called nodes, where the waves cancel out perfectly. The particles gather into bigger and bigger clusters and eventually fall out of the liquid altogether. This is pretty analogous to rainwater forming in clouds. There are many little droplets in clouds being held up by wind and air pressure, but as they are up in the clouds longer, they eventually will collide and form bigger and bigger and bigger droplets until eventually the wind holding up those water droplets is not strong enough to keep those water droplets from falling down. Eventually they get so big that they fall out of the cloud. And this is the exact same process happening. The, the way that the wind holds up the water in the cloud, it is just right, holds it up just right, it doesn't blow it up, it doesn't let it fall down at first. It's the same exact thing. According to Ma, AWS is tailor fit to whatever particle you wish to remove by using a certain sound wave frequency. That's what allows it to be so effective. Now, it sounds like a pretty complicated technology, but in all reality, its advantages are absolutely amazing in comparison to other previous filtration technologies. According to Joe, the ability of AWS to filter based on multiple factors such as density, compressibility, and particle size is unheard of and unprecedented in filtration up till now. According to Gonzalez, the ability of acoustic wave separation to filter more precisely, um, whereas previous techniques struggled to get below 20 micron particles, AWS can filter out particles as small as one micron. Um, Ascent Bio Nano found that in addition to having multiple parameters to filter on, it uses way less power and no chemical additives. According to researchers at Duke, uh, this, reduced, this technique reduced the time it took to filter from hours to just minutes, while still maintaining yields of about 85%, which is pretty impressive. All of these advantages lead to AWS being very versatile and able to be used in many different fields of research and technology. Gonzalez writes that about the, the filtration of water produced in oil and gas extraction, companies are aiming to produce units that can filter out 100,000 gallons of water a day. And that is a lot of water that can be used for very important things. According to Wang, researchers are filtering out particles from engines and other mechanisms from the engine oil and lubricants to see where wear is happening, corrosion, and where possible accidents could occur in the future. 
in the field of biology, Aziz found that in culturing different cells, AWS was able to filter out specific cells, leaving them unharmed and able to be used for research. Also, Joe found that being able to filter on different densities and not just particle sizes, which is something that was not possible before, has allowed for vast amounts of new research in the area of biology especially. Now, I hope that I have convinced you pretty well that AWS is a truly unprecedented, um, astounding new technology in the field of research and has implications across many ranges of uh, uh, science and engineering. By just using sound waves um, and some pretty complex but clever math, we're able to do things that we weren't able to do before. Um, we're able to do it more precisely, more efficiently, uh, and at the same time, we're able to basically separate cells and particles um, in many different applications in many different fields, uh, connecting fields of research and science that before you would never have thought would be cooperating, but because of acoustic wave separation, science is becoming even more connected and more productive. Um, I thank you for listening. Um, my name is Austin Drakowski. If you have any questions, I'd be super happy to answer them. Um, and if not, once again, thanks for listening and have a great day.